live on Fight TV with this bantamweight amateur MMA title bout. So let me introduce the red corner. He comes with a record of three wins, two losses from the gym 0-1 in Portsmouth. Raise the roof for Taro Ladies and gentlemen, his Taro Lee. And facing him this evening in the blue corner, he comes with a record of six wins, no defeats, representing one Jiu Jitsu. Ladies and gentlemen, his Jeffrey, the prodigy Almeida. Once again in the blue corner, here's Jeffrey, the prodigy, Almeida. This bout will be contested for the shock and awe bantamweight amateur MMA title. Over three three minute rounds of amateur MMA rules. In the bantamweight division, your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Andy Nichols. Well, it's time for our second of four amateur title fights here at, at Shokanor. 
This one is the amateur bantamweight title. It's currently vacant. Jeffrey Almeida representing one jiu-jitsu in the black. He's taking on Taru Lake representing Jim Owen in the red. Touch of gloves and we are underway. Two incredibly well put together young men here, Colin. Yeah, and much I mean, like the flyweights, I don't think the fitness is going to be an issue here for the bantamweights either. No, I mean, we've got two very slick individuals here in this match. I'm really looking forward to this one. First takedown goes to Jeffrey Almeida, but good work from Taro Lake there. Straight back to his feet, puts his back on the fence, but hoisted across the ring into his own corner, Matt Hughes style. Great work there from Jeffrey Almeida. Almeida trying to take the back here. Yeah, I, I mean, Almeida's got a very unorthodox jiu-jitsu style. Crazy, almost a crazy style, you know. Goes from transi transition to transition. And Taro here really wants to be looking for top position if he can. If he can shake him off a little bit. He's got that two on one on the hand, so he's not in too much danger here of, of getting choked, especially while Almeida's more over to the side. Question is, can Taru Lake shuck his man off somehow here? Yeah, the two on one is good here because it means he's not going to get choked. With the body triangle on there is Jeffrey Almeida. Almeida trying to snake that right arm underneath the chin. He's got it, it looks like it's over the jaw here. He's, Almeida tries to lock it off. And we have seen guys tap from this before, Colin. It's tight, yeah. It's just a, a mandible crush almost. Oh, and it's slipping underneath now. Taro Lake trying to peel those hands off. He goes straight back to it, though, palm to palm. Almeida trying to seal off this choke. Taru Lake finding it for all he's worth here. It does look like he's going to be in a space there, Colin. There's a bit of daylight there, yeah. But it's tight. It's still very tight. It looks like Kataru's trying to slide his back to the mat, but he gets out of that. Not many people are going to survive a situation like that against Jeffrey Almeida, but Taru Lake... Hangs in there. Yeah. Now has to get Almeida off his back. Oh, and again, Almeida trying to go underneath. Oh, he's really stretching him out. Very tight on one side. Nice. And again, Taru Lake able to explode out. Final 10 seconds of the round. Yeah. And that's going to be a huge confidence boost for Tyree Lake to have survived not one, but two really tight-looking rear naked choke attempts. Well, Almeida gave him everything he could there. You know, he thought he... And he'd be right to think he, he had that finished. Um, you know, he was really trying to get that choke, but... And, yeah, maybe blew out his forearms a little bit trying, but, yeah, really good survival tactics from, from Lake. And like you say, the confidence now, you know, that's he's, he's hit him with, you know, one of his best shots and he managed to survive it. So that's going to do wonders for him. And presumably the advice in the corner of uh, Jeffrey Almeida was just more of the same. They want him to uh, use that unorthodox jiu-jitsu style, as you say, and find any route to the back possible. Yeah, and I mean, you, you can't say he did anything wrong there. I mean, he had control for most of the round, but... Uh, Tara Lake's a tough, tough kid. Certainly seeing uh, championship caliber fighters in our championship fights here at Shocker North 31.5. If you're enjoying the show here tonight, I mean, why wouldn't you be? This if you are enjoying the show here two. tonight, then don't forget we are back with Shocker North 32. April 23rd, 2022. Keep your eyes on all our social channels for more information. Round two of three underway here in this bantamweight title fight. Both guys trading on the feet now in the second round. Tarot Lakes, really good with the strike and very accurate. 
Nice single leg off the cage there from Jeffrey Almeida, though. Good work from Lake to get his back on the cage. Yeah, Lake doing a good job. He's going to get up now. And yeah, the corner of uh, Tyro Lake saying that they think Almeida might be tiring a little bit here after all those exchanges in the first round. And whether he is or isn't, they want their fighter to believe that that's the case, right? Well, yeah, it's a bit of that, but it's also um, letting his opponent know, you know, that he might be second-guessing himself. Big first stomps there from Taru Lake, and uh, I don't think they went down particularly well with Jeffrey Almeida's fans in the crowd here. <laughs> I mean, it is legal. Yeah, all was, uh, all was fair enough more, as they say. Nice knee to the body there from Almeida, but he immediately gets turned with his back on the fence. And let's see what Tyree Lake can do offensively here from this position. Still keeping his man guessing with those foot stomps. Oh, beautiful <laughs> lateral drop there from Jeffrey Almeida. Lake straight back to his feet, though. Almeida returns him to the mat. Yeah, Lake can't allow him to take his back again. We saw how dangerous that was before. Yeah, I mean, Lake was able to survive incredibly in those first two rounds, but it's not something you want to constantly roll the dice with, having a guy like Almeida on your back. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, there is an argument to say that he might be a little bit gassed after that first round, you know? He might be um, a little bit fatigued going, going, you know, for everything he could. Nice trip there, and he ends up straight in mount, does Jeffrey Almeida, the one jiu-jitsu man, giving a really good account of himself here. Looking to snake around to that back again, I think. Oh, he's got the arm pinned as well. Landing some short shots. Comes on him mount, looking for the mounted triangle here. Got to watch out for that. He's going to slip that foot behind the knee. He's got precious little time. Decides to go for some shots instead. Taru Lake fights his way out, gets back to his feet. Yeah. A mad scramble to end that second round. High level stuff here at the Guild Hall. Yeah, Taru Tar Lake's doing everything he's supposed to do defensively. He's doing all the right stuff, all the right things. I think now looking into this next round, he's going to really need to start mounting a bit more offense, though, I think. Yeah, they know that takedown entry is going to come from somewhere, so it may be a case of trying to time it. Or maybe it's a case, a, a case of strike first, and they want Tyrell Lake to go out there and just really stick it on Jeffrey Almeida at the start of this third and final round. Now we saw Almeida, Almeida's corner team really shaking his arms out the second he got back to the corner. You know, when those arms get a bit heavy, the guard comes down a little bit, and a little bit might be all Tyru Lake knees to land that big shot that changes the momentum of this fight. As well as that, your, your grip's gone, so your grip's not the same as it was. It can really, Ladies you know, and gentlemen, this effective. is the third and final round. Let's see what Jeffrey Almeida has left in this round. Let's see if he has squeezed those arms out or if he's going to come out and put it on Tyree Lake again in the third here. Lake looking to tee that big shot up on the outside. Spinning back kick to the body from Almeida. The corner calling for the big shots now from Tyree Lake. Nice leaping left hook there. Got to watch those spinning kicks, though. Just short that uppercut with Lake. Flying knee attempt from Almeida. Almeida showing that he's not just a jiu-jitsu guy either. Yeah, nice jab. But this is it. This is what Lake's got to do. He's got to put pressure on him. Good head movement from Almeida, though, to get out of the way of some of these shots. Almeida was reaching a little bit with that shot there. The corner asking for the left hook after the uppercut. 
Blake needs to set these shots up with something. Yeah, he's, he's, looking, he's looking a little bit sharper now, made at the moment. Oh, nice left hand again from Tyree Lake. Finding his rhythm here. Both guys Ooh. throwing shots. Almeida spinning himself round. Almeida looking to get in a single leg now. Yeah, has Almeida got enough to get it? Pulls him down to the mat. Lake immediately back to his feet. Looking for the trip and gets it, does Almeida. Slightly better position here. Yeah, and that right hand blocking the, the uh, opposite forearm, that can really help to get to his back. Lake's going to get back to his feet here. What can he do with the position? He's got to stop Almeida from hooking those legs out from underneath him again. The corner calling for Tari Lake to try and circle off and disengage here. Oh, nice knee to the head from Almeida. And immediately goes back downstairs. Trying to get the double leg here. Has he got enough for one last takedown? He does. Will Lake get back up again? He's done a great job of that in this, in this fight. Time is ticking away, though. Almeida passes the guard. Final 10 seconds of the round. Again, Tari Lake. Looking to get back to his feet. He's looking to get the squeeze on the neck there at the end. Wow. Great fight. Yeah, three very competitive rounds there. Instinct says that Jeffrey Almeida will get his hand raised. But absolutely nothing to be ashamed of from either of these two young men. And again, like, like we said with uh, a couple of the previous fights here, I'd happily watch these guys do another three rounds later on tonight if they were, uh, if they were feeling up for it. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Like you say, I think Almeida just had a little bit more control on the ground. I mean, that first round, he looked really dangerous with the choke. Um, but fair play to Lake. I mean, I don't know how he got out. Of that. Well, there was two, wasn't there? I don't know how he did that, but it was a good job. I mean, we do have a title on the line, so you've got to dig deep. Absolutely. Both of these guys giving a very, very good account of themselves here this evening at Shock and Awe, 31.5. All that remains is for our MC to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, exciting MMA action in this Bantam title weight battle. Please, a round of applause for these fighters. <laughs> After three incredible rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, where our judges have reached a unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Bantamweight amateur MMA champion in the blue corner, Jeffrey the Prodigy Almeida. Jeffrey the Prodigy Almeida is the new Shockinor amateur Bantamweight champion. And your runner up, Tara. Uh, with a Lake. performance like that, you can't really argue with the nickname the Prodigy. This young man, still in his early 20s, going to have an incredibly bright future, as I would imagine is Tari Lake. I'm sure we'll be seeing both of these two guys again here at Shock and Awe.